Zoe, the good news is the laparoscopy was a success and we have managed to remove most of the endometriosis. The hormonal treatment will suppress any future growth, but the bad news is, unfortunately, you won't be able to fall pregnant while you're taking the medication. I'm really sorry. It's going to take some time and I know how long you've been waiting to start a family. Ideally, we will need to reschedule your next appointment at your earliest convenience, so if you could please let me know when you have a moment. Okay. Morning, Angie. Morning. Are you still going dress shopping today? I wish you could come with me, Nan. Oh, I just don't have the energy anymore. Sorry, hun. I could barely walk five metres without losing my breath. I struggled to hang the washing out this morning. Nan, you used to be so fit before Mum died. Hey. Remember when you and Pop used to go ballroom dancing at the RSL? Oh, I'm trying. Honestly, I am. <coughs> you better get going, love. You know how hard it is to find parking after 10 a.m. Love you, Nan. Zoe, how are you? Hey, there it is. I was looking everywhere for that. Shit, you were supposed to meet Emily today. Don't worry, I'll definitely be seeing Emily today. Okay, good. Tell her I miss her. I'm sure you do, Jack. Zoe? Zoe? Did you remember to take your medication this morning? Yeah, um, I'm fine. I'm just feeling a bit lightheaded. That's all. Make your coffee before you go.
Hi, Lucy. How are you? Hey, Jack. How's it going? Yeah, good. How's Zoe? Yeah, she's fine. I um, saw her at reception and she didn't see herself. She's just a bit tired, I think. Yeah, she's, she's good. Thanks for asking. I'll see you later. Hey Zoe, where's Jack? Oh, there he is. Hey mate, don't forget, we're checking out the lead in Sunderland today, yeah? You right? Okay, I'll see you tonight. Let me know how you go with Emily. She's gonna love it. Yeah. What do you think? Ah, oh, it's, it's beautiful. That fits you perfectly. You wouldn't even need to have it altered. I love it. It's just the price though. Do you mind if I just pop it on hold? I just got to make a quick call. Look, I can put it out the back for now and then if you're not back in, say, 30 minutes, I'll just assume you can't afford it and I'll put it back on the rack. Oh, I promise I will be back. <laughs> yeah, sure you will. Yeah, but it's way out of budget. I looked at some other dresses, but they just looked cheap and didn't fit well. Oh, Angie, it's your engagement dress. Just get the dress. I'm sure I could find some extra cash stashed in my pantry drawer. Thanks, Nan. <laughs> I love you. Of course. Anything for you. I wish your mum was here. She would be so proud of you and Brad. Hey, watch out. Sorry. Kids today. Was your head in your phones? What? Hmm. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Excuse me? What? So what do you feel like for lunch? Nutella thick shit. Sounds good. Annie Jen, why is that lady so Don't worry about it. Zoe! Darling, where have you been? We've still got that credit on file from that shoot. It was months ago. Really? Yeah, so you can just pick a dress. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think anything will look good on me. Oh my God, you look good in everything. What about that one? Yeah, sure. And so what have you been up to? Have oh. you been doing much modeling or? Yeah, just this and that. Yeah, keeping yourself busy. Yeah, we don't see you around here that much anymore. I was, um, I was thinking the other day, uh, you and Tom have to come back in and do another shoot because honestly, you guys on screen, but, you just looked But we said, you said 30 minutes. Sorry, please, love. I, please, I really need this dress. I don't even know you. I didn't think you were coming back. Can you just get your hands off the dress? <sighs> And so I'll be in touch. I'll just flick you a text. We'll organise a time. Thanks for coming in, darling. Thanks. Thanks. See you. See you, sweetheart. Morning. How are you today? Good. You're back from maternity leave. Sure am. How's the baby going? She's doing really good. Thank you for asking. Would you like to see a photo? Yes, please. Look She's gorgeous. She what a is. cute baby. We'll have to do lunch soon. Sure. Okay, okay. I've got to go. We're understaffed. Take no care. Worries. See you. Take bye. care. Bye bye. Oh my God, you scared me. I didn't see you standing there. Hello, Emily. Are you okay? Let me get you a drink. What can I get you? Can I get a green tea, please? Yep. So, what would you like? Um, just make that too. Sure. There's a reason I want to meet with you today. Why, Emily? Well, I know you've been struggling and that you and Jack have been trying to have a baby for years. I want to help you. I know how desperately you want to have a baby. Remember when we were kids? 
You would always play the mum. And I know that since the operation, it's nearly impossible for you to have a baby. And with them, I embrace my heart. Jack and he agreed. So long as you're comfortable, of course. I really want to do this for you. By artificial insemination, obviously. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Better go check out that lead, eh? Uh, yeah, just uh, grab my stuff. What the fuck? My gun is gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? You know, you can get the sack for not securing your equipment yeah, properly. Yeah, I know, mate. I, I left it for a second. I got distracted when Zoe came in. Wait, Zoe. So I can't get to your call right now. What the fuck is she thinking? Yes, Detective Hamilton's gun's been stolen. His wife Zoe came in this morning. I think she stole it from his office. I saw her leave. She told me she was going to Addison Shopping Centre. She's wearing a white top, <laughs> denim shorts, and blue shoes. She drives a white four-wheel drive, I think. It's a BMW. She was in a hurry, and she didn't seem herself. Sometimes customers sneak up here to park. I shop here all the time. I didn't even know this place existed. The lady you described, she parked her car up here this morning. I saw it on the CCTV footage. Emily, yeah. I'm ready to go. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, I think we should head off. Okay. Where's your bag? Oh, I um, must have. Let's just head home, shall we? It was reported that she stole a detective's gun. Registered to her husband. Right from under the bathroom door. Just wait by your car. I'll be done in a minute. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to check your bag. What? Please give me your bag, ma'am. Take off your other bag, please. Quickly. But I didn't do anything. No, come step away. Here, arms up. Under arrest for the theft and possession of a firearm. Firearm? 
What firearm? It's just a dress. Dress is the least of your problems, lad. How do you explain this? It's not my bag. Please, you have to believe me. This is a big mistake. Zoe, what were you thinking? Stealing a gun? My name isn't Zoe. Please, I didn't steal a gun. That's why I'm doing it. It's just the most generous thing anyone could ever do. Oh, wait one second. Oh, oh it's Jack. Hey. Are you, are you with your sister? She's not in her right mind. She wants to hurt you. What's going on? Brad, just, just be careful. She's not she doing anything. It's not what you think. Emily. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Please, Jack, it's not what you think. Please. Jack, I'm sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, detective. Just took a gun.